Kylie Jenner is sharing her thoughts on cheaters when it comes to relationships, while perhaps opening up about those Travis Scott cheating rumors. What is up you guys, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News, bringing you all the latest entertainment updates from my Clever Home Studios as we continue to practice safe measures. All right, let's jump into the latest tea about Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. Okay, you guys, so if you're a Kylie Jenner fan, you know the long history with her baby daddy and ex-boyfriend Travis Scott. And if you're new to their history, well then go ahead and subscribe while you're here so you can stay up to date on all things Kylie and Travis. Okay, now let's get into it. Back in October 2019, rumors started to swirl that there was trouble in paradise for Kylie and Travis after Kylie reportedly found some not so good things on Travis's phone, ultimately leading to him deleting his Instagram and then their breakup. Travis's alleged mistress also took to Twitter to address those rumors saying they simply aren't true, writing, none of these rumors are true. It's just the internet creating a false narrative. Please stop spreading lies and leave him, her and I alone because it's affecting real lives. Thank you. Kylie even addressed the split briefly on her Twitter at the time, writing, Travis and I are on great terms and our main focus right now is Stormy. Our friendship and our daughter is priority. And now in Kylie's most recent YouTube video, she sat down with her best friends, including former assistant Victoria, Stasi, and Iris to play a fun game of who's most likely to. In one of the questions, the group of friends is asked most likely to forgive a cheating partner, in which Stasi responds, none of us, while Kylie goes on with her response. Here, take a listen. None of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. That. Next question. Okay, Kai, very direct and to the point. Do you think that this was Kylie's way of trying to mask her feelings about Travis's alleged cheating or making it very clear that she isn't here for a cheater ever, meaning Travis didn't cheat? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you think Kylie's brief answer clears the air on those Travis Scott cheating rumors or do you think that she could be just playing it off? Let's hear your thoughts right here in the comment section below. And now in some other Kylie news, she is making headlines once again with her comments about being bored at home amid the coronavirus outbreak. Over the weekend, she took to her Instagram to share a mirror selfie of herself hanging out at home with the caption, bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Now, what some fans may not realize is that the line is a popular tune circulating on TikTok, but it wasn't enough to keep the trolls away from coming at Kylie. One person wrote, This statement just makes you sound like you're not intelligent. And we all know your mom is the reason for your billionaire income, along with your fans who buy your cosmetics. I'm sure in your Calabasas mansion, you have a gym, movie theater, heated pool, a daughter. So how is it that you're bored? Another wrote, Love seeing how billionaires with bowling alleys and movie theaters in their houses are bored. Now, to be clear, Kylie hasn't just sat around the house as the world attempts to find sense of normalcy during this madness. Last week, she donated $1 million for face masks, protective shields, and more for the doctors. In a post, one of her doctors took to Instagram to share the news of Kylie's good deed writing, I am speechless. My eyes are filled with tears of joy and my heart is overwhelmed with gratitude. I made a wish to the universe to gather protective masks for our brave healthcare workers and today my dream came true. One of my patients, a beautiful living angel, just donated $1 million to help us buy hundreds of thousands of masks, face shields and other protective gear which we will have delivered directly to our first responders as too many masks at hospitals are disappearing before making their way onto the faces of our frontline heroes. She continued, I have never felt more blessed to be a doctor as helping our brave ER and ICU workers feels just as gratifying as helping my own patients. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you, Kylie Jenner. You are my hero. This generous donation will help save many precious lives. Our world is a better place with you in it. I love you so much. Thank you times a million. But when trolls came out coming for Kylie for how much she donated, well, a lot of fans did not want to hear it. One user wrote, I hate when people say that Kylie Jenner should have donated more than $1 million. Open your purse, guys, first and then talk. Another said, also, no one is required to donate. Like, imagine donating any amount of money and then getting shit on for it. I don't care for Kylie Jenner, but she literally was just trying to give a donation. Kylie's sister Kim is also facing virus backlash as well. After asking her followers how she should keep her and her family entertained while they social distance. In the photo, she wrote, what is everyone doing to keep your kids entertained? As a family, we are social distancing, but need some fun ideas of what to do. Any suggestions would help. One user clapped back to her recent drama with Taylor Swift writing, watch Miss Americana and then Reputation Stadium tour. Another Swifty wrote, 
learn to apologize. Ouch. However, Kim has also stepped up to help during this health crisis after announcing her brand Skims is donating $1 million to help families affected by it. With all of that being said, I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on Kylie Jenner opening up about what she thinks about cheaters? Get the conversation started right here in the comment section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, be sure to click right over here to see how Swifties drag Kim Kardashian during quarantine. After that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss a Clever News update. I'm your host, Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me in my Clever Home Studios. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.